This is Edward Manet. He was born January 23rd, 1832, in Paris, France. He was born into an upper-class family. Daddy Manet, he was a well-known judge. And Mama Manet, she was chief of royal ancestry. So what does this mean? He didn't need to sell his art to provide a living for himself. In fact, he was able to have an education and travel through Italy, Netherlands, and Germany to study art. He became influenced by many different styles and began to break out from the realism and impressionism movements to create his own style. He used flat dimensions, loose brush strokes, and simple details. For instance, he often had a lack of transitional zones in his art, and this was accomplished by the use of black. It wasn't typical at the time. Much of France lived like this. It had a large peasant population. There was terrible conditions. There were struggles with poor crop harvest in a country that was in massive debt from the American Revolution. This created even more of a distance between the poor and the wealthy. This caused anger and also caused resentment towards the wealthy class and also the church. Ultimately, a French Revolution began, and a constitution was eventually adopted. This was a power shift from the Roman Catholic Church to state politicians, but there was much continued social disruption during this time. Hi, I'm Olympia, and this is my cat. I have to tell you a story about myself and my older sister Venus. Well, let's just say she's the golden child in this family. Here she is. She's perfect, ideal image. And me, I have been in the shadow way too long. Society is just not ready for me to step into open public knowledge, even though I entertain many of its wealthy citizens. But I'm a self-made woman. I know my craft, and I'm comfortable in my life. Here I am. Again, I'm a self-made woman and I know my craft. I'm comfortable in life. But you know how I know this? Look at my poor sister. She's lying on the bed, awaiting her husband to fulfill her wifely duties. What a good girl. I don't do that. I'm my own woman. My sister, she's also a dog person. Ugh. She goes on and on about how it will bring her fertility. Me? I'm a cat person. Sometimes people think that means I'm sinful, sensuous, and also a temptress. But I guess that's a mystery. They'll just have to keep on guessing. My sister and her husband have all the luxuries. 
Our parents gave her most of our prized family possessions that she keeps in her wedding chest. I'll show you. See? She has maids because it's a struggle to get up and get to the chest. I made my own wealth. I use my body as a commodity. And I won't apologize for making my own wealth. In fact, today, I just received a bunch of flowers. Here they are. I got these from a client, and he's very appreciative of my business. And I'm appreciative of his. My sister, well, she holds on to them in her hands as a good luck charm. She's hoping for love in her marriage. I just get flowers. But you know, we do have one thing in common, and that's the love of fresh, clean, luxurious, white sheets and bedding. The only difference is, she's given hers, and me, I earn mine. So how does this all impact the future? Manet's flat, dot-nom, dimensional, simple form, applied shapes, it lacked depth to the images and the objects. His use of, use of long brush strokes, it wasn't the most widely accepted technique at the time, as well as the use of black and his washed out appearance to his painting. I'll show you again. Black wash appearance. He began to challenge the old accepted techniques and he developed new ideas, a more modern approach. Most of all, his painting challenged the idea, the views, the acceptance, of what art should betray, and what style it should be portrayed, what style it should be completed in. He didn't conform and follow rules of what art has been defined for him prior through history and years before him, but he challenged what was socially acceptable as the form, technique, and subject matter in art. And for this reason, he was named, in turn, the father of modern art. 